Hey there guys, welcome to my walkthrough playlist of the OCR MEI 2018 new A-level maths paper 2 which is uh, pure mathematics and statistics. As always, I'm doing every question in its own video. You can get to the playlist down below. I'll link the website down there as well so you can get the paper. Um, also down there will be paper 1 and paper 3. If you're finding these useful, please give us a thumbs up, get subscribed, be awesome. Okay, let's go. Okay, question 6, 5 marks all together, 3 and then 2. So we have harmonics with trigonometry. So part 1 wants us to express 7 cos x minus 24 sin x in the form r cos x at alpha where alpha is greater than 0 and less than pi by 2. Okay, so this is going to be needing our compound angle formulas. So r cos of x at alpha So you're given these in the formula part. So we want cos of a plus b says cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. So we're going to have r cos x cos alpha minus r Uh, sin x sine of alpha. Now we've got 7 cos x minus 24 sin x. So if we compare coefficients, we get r cos alpha is equal to 7 and r sine alpha is equal to 24. Okay, so from that, we can first of all get, if we do our sine over our cos, we get tan of alpha is equal to 24 over 7. So alpha is the inverse tan of 24 over 7. Now that gives us, and uh, remember we are in radians, so make sure your calculator is in radians, 10 seconds. Okay, we get 1.2. Two eight seven two three decimal places. So alpha is 1.287. Now we also need to find the value of r. So we know that r squared cos squared cos of alpha squared is 49. That's three up here. So r squared cos squared of alpha is 49 r squared sine squared of alpha is whatever 24 squared is five hundred and seventy six so R squared 
cos squared and r squared sine squared of alpha is 49 and 576 which is 625 so we can factorise the left to get r squared lots of sine squared add cos squared which is 1 so r squared is 65 so r is 25 so Seven cos x minus twenty four sine x can be written as twenty five cos of x add uh, one point two eight seven. Cool. Okay, then for part two, they want us to write down the range of the function f of x is 12 add 7 cos x minus 24 sine x. Okay, so we can write f of x as 12 add 25 cos x add 1.28. 7 Now we know cos oscillates between minus 1 and positive 1 So the minimum value of the cos is minus 1 the maximum value is 1 So the range of f of x is well it's 12 well let's write it as f of x it's greater than or equal to 12 minus 25 but less than or equal to 12 add 25 so we get minus 13 Plus than or equal to f of x plus than or equal to uh, 37. Cool.